The gold medals, as you all know, represent uh, the highest awards of the Combustion Institute, and they're presented biannually at the International Combustion Symposium. Gold medals are bestowed to scientists whose contributions have not only made an enormous impact on combustion science, but have also uh, made important contributions to the leadership of our combustion research community. The committee was comprised of the following members, Osama Tajita Okeda University, uh, Katarina Kozahonhaus from the University of Bielefeld, Moshe Madelon from the University of Illinois at uh, Urbana-Champaign, Stephen Shi from National Central University, Chinese Taipei, Marie Thompson from the University of Toronto, myself from Sandia, and again, chaired by Bill Serignan from the University of California at Irvine. So after very careful deliberation, our committee arrived at a decision selecting from a pool of very well-qualified nominees. And I'll proceed by naming the 2022 gold medal winners. So the Bernard Lewis Gold Medal recognizes brilliant research and combustion in honor of Bernard Lewis, a founding member of the Combustion Institute. Lewis was a pioneer of theoretical and experimental combustion research and directed research in combustion, flames, explosions, and, ex and uh, explosives. His lifetime of work and his passion to help young scientists have shaped our modern field of combustion research. It's my great pleasure to announce that the 2022 Bernard Lewis Gold Medal is awarded to Hideaki Kobayashi from Tohoku University for his brilliant research on high pressure turbulent prenix flames and ammonia combustion from decarbonation. So. Thank you. 
making contributions to combustion. Sir Egerton was the first chairman of the British section of the Combustion Institute and professor at the Imperial College. He was a leader in combustion, especially research into detonations, anti-knocking agents, and flame structure. He and his students devised a flat flame burner to measure burning velocity and flame structure that is still widely used today. The 2022 Alfred Egerton Gold Medal is awarded to Yi Ju from Princeton University for distinguished, continuing, and encouraging contributions to the field of combustion. Eric Peterson and 
Felix Geth and their teams. We have done a great, a lot of great work together over the years. But more importantly, we have fun doing it and have quite a few lemonades together. I would also like to thank John Simi and Fred Dreyer for mentoring me in my early career and for their advice and friendship. I would like to thank all my PhD students and my postdoctoral researchers, past and present, that have worked with me throughout the years. Not only the students and staff that worked in our, our group, but also those with whom my group has collaborated. The award of the gold medal is an acknowledgement of all the hard work that they have done. I really do appreciate it. I should also especially mention John Wynn, Rory Monahan, John Wynn Zhao, Alex Hoover, Alan Coronis, Alton Burke, Kieran Summers, Rory Monahan, Stephen Dooley, Zainab Serendel, Guillaume Van Hove, Yang Lai, Shank, Shank, Shashank Nagaraja, Ahmed, Mo, Ahmed Mohammed, Shijan Dong, and Shineshis Pani Kafi, but also include everyone that worked at Galway. To all my collaborating friends, Jackie Sung, Tiziano Faravelli, Alessio Ranzi, Ranzi, Marco Mel, Matteo Pellucci, and all the team at Pollen Teco de Milano, Stephen Klippenstein, Scott Goldsboro, Rob Tranter, and all at Anna at Argonne National Lab. Heinz, Heinz Pitch and his team at Aachen. Scott Wagner and an extended team at LLNL. Joe Bozzelli, Frederic Metallic Claire, Pierre Alexander Glaude, and Olivier Ermine at Nancy. Olivier Mathieu at TAMU. Philip Tango and Navia Shamu and their teams in Orleans. Thomas Turani, Istvan Zesle, Tibor Naji, and all at Etos Moran University Budapest. Amir Farouk and Manny Serafi and all the teams at Kaust. Kenji Yasan Yas Naja and Isashi Nakamura at Japan. Yinja Zhang, Professor Wang, and, and Janu Liang in China. To all those who have sponsored and supported my work, I would firstly like to thank Kelly Senecal and Keith and Eric at Convergent Science for their support. I thank the Irish funding agencies for their support. I also would like to thank Siemens Energy Canada Limited and Roger Cracknow at Shell Global Solutions. Also in Power Limited, Saudi Arabia, Ford Motor Company, Caterpillar, Toyota, Renault, and Exxon, and all the other companies that work either for directly or indirectly supporting my work. I would like to thank all those in the commercial community, Barbara Hornick, Renny Tassari, David Chabot, and all the team of the commercial students, to all that I have worked with and learned from throughout the years. I appreciate the technical interactions, but also the good times that we have shared. I'm sure there are many people that I have not mentioned here, but I should have. Please forgive me, for I did. I don't mean to cause offense. Finally, some words of advice to the younger researchers. I don't think I am particularly bright. I believe that most of the people that I have worked with are smarter than I am. However, I have always tried to learn as much as I can from these people and work very hard to get to the bottom of problems and understand the problem fundamentally. When I first started working at LLNL, Bill and Charlie, Charlie they were always patient with my incessant questions. When I didn't understand something, explain the problems to me. That to me is the secret of success. Work hard, keep asking questions. Don't be afraid to admit, admit it when you don't understand something, but continue to pursue the problem, trying to get to the bottom. Thank you. Research. This medal is in honor of Jurgen Barnard, 
He's a former managing director of the Interdisciplinary Center for Scientific Computing in Heidelberg. He was the chair of the German section of the Combustion Institute, and Barnox pioneered a research approach on modeling and simulation of chemically reacting flows, especially looking at the close coupling between molecular reactions and transport processes, especially in leather flames. In 2022, the Jürgen Barnox Gold Medal is awarded to Marcus Aldean of Lund University for exceptional scientific contributions on the development and application of advanced laser diagnostics for combustion. What a fantastic week. First, I have the privilege to present the Otto Lecture. Now I'm receiving the highest award within the Combustion Institute, the Gold Medal. I'm so proud and honored to have been, been elected to receive the Jürgen Warner's Gold Medal. It's time to really acknowledge the people who have been so important for me to be able to be given this award. First of all, I would like to thank my old supervisor, Sudan Swanberg, who was brave enough to start the project in this field in 1978 without really having any background in combustion or combustion diagnostics. So in order for me to get a good start on my PhD, I was sent to one of, if not the best lab in the world, in the field of combustion diagnostics, General Electric R&D Center, is connected to work for eight months. So a huge thanks to my local supervisor, Murray Penny, and also to Marshall Lab and Mike Drake. An absolute fantastic environment, which inspired me a lot speaking of getting a good start on my PhD. When returning to Sweden, we started our activities, and despite always having had a desire to go to industry, I ended up in the academic world, which I am not regretting. Here I have had a chance to work with extremely nice and outstanding colleagues, and I want to thank the present and former members of the Division of Boston Physics, and also colleagues in the Department of Energy Science in the and all other collaborators and colleagues around the world, both in the academic environment as well as in the industry. Since I've always seen our work as a team effort, I really would have liked to be able to split this medal into smaller pieces and share it with all my previous co-workers and everybody who has participated in the achievements leading to this medal. It was very special to get the Jürgen Warnans model, since Jürgen was very close to our activities through our joint collaboration with the International Energy Agency during the 80s and 90s, where both Sweden and Germany participated. He was instrumental in helping bring in the basic combustion into our world of laser spectroscopy. Last but not least, I want to thank my family, my wife Monica and our daughters, and their families for constant support. Just too bad that they could not be here tonight to share this moment. So, to all of you, thanks a lot. Now we will uh, have uh, the presentation of the previous gold medal, uh, those who were supposed to be presenting in Adelaide. Uh, but could not. So I will, uh, first of all, I, I, I will call Professor Michael Fanklack from the University of California at Berkeley, who received that award, the Jürgen Barnett Award for brilliant research and leadership in computational chemistry modeling, including soup, growth, the GRI MEC team project, and process informatics.
One of the biggest things in science, in my opinion, it's uh, achieving clarity in understanding. In fact, if you have enough clarity to explain complex phenomena in simple terms, this is a goal of knowledge. So, a lot in my life, and the clarity of my life, was provided by my wife uh, throughout all my life, you know, who created from all complex situations that I encountered, she always would put it in very simple terms that become clear. I would have given you an example, but I'm short on time. So again, I would like to thank everyone, and I'm certainly uh, uh, thankful eternally to my wife. Thank you. The uh, Zeltovich Award was presented to Professor Moshe Matanan of the University of Ibiza at Urbana Champagne for outstanding and lasting fundamental contribution to flame theory and to understandings of intrinsic properties of laminar and turbulent flame. Moshe. I was uh, deeply honored and proud to have received the prestigious Zeldovich Gold Medal of the Combustion Institute in 2020. My career started in the late 70s, at a time when there had been a flourishing activity aimed to improve physical understanding of combustion and replace phenomenology with formal mathematical models. It was, indeed, an exciting period and for me a gratifying experience to take part of this development. I am indebted to my students, colleagues, collaborators who over the years have been a source of inspiration and with whom I share many hours of excitement in search of new discoveries and exploration. They all deserve a share of this award. And I am thankful to this community who over the years has progressively recognized the valuable contribution of applied mathematics to the field. And last but not least, I'm grateful to my family for their love and support, and particularly to my wife who has been to my side throughout this journey. Thank you very much. Alfred Egerton Medal was presented to Professor William Phillips Jones, Imperial College, for outstanding contribution to computational methods for turbulence, turbulence chemistry interaction, simplified chemistry, and spray combustion. Deal. Finally, the Bernard Lewis Gold Medal was presented to 
Professor Peter Gardo from, uh, from Denmark for brilliant research in the field of combustion, particularly of NOx and trace species chemistry. Peter, please. Thank you. I was instructed to uh, make it short and just say thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> On a lower level, I have a few other people I want to acknowledge. Uh, I'm very grateful to my the colleagues that nominated me for the award and to the Gold Medal uh, Committee. I'm very grateful to the colleagues and collaborators, students I've been working with over the years who have contributed immensely to the work I've been involved in. And of course, I'm very grateful to the support of my family, particularly my, my wife, Barbara. It's a haunting experience to receive a gold medal, and uh, you cannot but wonder how how uh, how did that happen? The Canadian poet and singer Leonard Cohen he has a quote from the uh, Peter, where he says, "You will never untangle the circumstances that brought you to this moment." I think that's true. But let me point to two important things. Circumstances can be events that have your openings, and it can be the very important persons that, that, uh, that help you on your travel. I think the most important event in my career was that I was accepted as a visiting PhD student at Sandia in 1984. And the most important person why I'm standing here is a researcher and scientist that posted me during that period. Dr. James A. Miller, who sadly passed away last year. He was my supervisor, my mentor, my collaborator, and my friend over more than 35 years. And he was a great inspiration to me and I think to a lot of people in the combustion community. So I would like to dedicate this recognition to him. Thank you.
And last but not least, and I believe Professor Roberts, our Center Director, who cannot be here unfortunately, would concur. Uh, we would like to thank all the members of the Clean Conclusion Research Center for making this institution so friendly and so motivating, where I think we can all strive and live up to our potential. Thank you. Sponsored by Helsinkiir and the Commission Institute, and it is uh, annually bestowed upon an early career researcher who has advanced a scientific, a specific field of uh, research within four to ten years after completing uh, a doctoral degree or equivalent. Uh, so uh, the uh, 2021 awardee is uh, Professor Michael Berg from Columbia University. Michael. So now we come to the 
Bernard Lewis uh, Fellowship. The Bernard Lewis Fellowship Award was established to encourage high quality research in commercial by young scientists and engineers. For well, this year, the award is uh, presented to Pedro de Oliveira, University of Cambridge in Great Britain, Dampeg Liu at Kaost University, Saudi Arabia, Adam Souza from Stanford University, USA, Yong Tang from the Beijing Institute of Technology in China, Hao Jiao, Peking University, China, and uh, Torsten Service, uh, I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, from the uh, Karlsruhe Institute of uh, Technology in Germany. Enjoy your meal. 